I wasn't on airplane mode and my phone rang, so uh, this is part two of the video. Um, there's some stuff in here. We're going to have to figure out what's going on in here. So it's not for sale in this closet. So there must be personal items of the owners. I have to figure out what we're going to want to do with this kind of shag entrance here. Or staircase here, this carpet. I don't know what's under it, but I want to pull this up to see what might be under here. I'm not sure if it would be hardwood floors or not. I'll have to talk to Bruce about that. It's really cold up here. So I think we're going to have to try to whew, turn the heater. It's at 50 degrees now, and I think we should bring it up to 55 to 58. I know the uh, owner was talking about having the registers worked on by Juan. Can pull the drapes from here, put a blind in. I'll recommend some patchwork here on the wall. It's like an access panel, but there's really no water pipes behind there. So I'm not sure what that would have been an access panel to her at some point. It's really like just wood behind here. So this is like an old cedar plank closet. It's actually, I don't know if you can see this, but this is likely what the floor is. And it's like this wood, probably this wood underneath this like laminate. And then the, this blue carpet. So we'll have to talk about what Bruce wants to do with that. And then as we transition to this next room, this carpet will probably need to be replaced, if not at the very least shampooed. Again, full paint in here. Um, that's gonna, we're gonna have to rehang this. Doesn't seem to be very secure in there. Some screws. And the whole red shag probably isn't gonna go well. Same with this blue and um, red shag carpet. Not quite sure what's under here. It's probably that kind of older panel board. You get some electrical plates here. Uh, looks like we got, um, I don't know if these are, I think we're missing a door here on these bifolds. Probably just gonna have to put new ones in or leave a, a curtain rod or something up here. Just as soon we take these off here, this is just kind of tacky, this plywood. Uh, pull all the nails out, something maybe Tom can do or us while we're here. And it's got these built-ins. This is just a insulated attic hatch. Um, all right, then I'll go down into the basement. Uh, again, just pull this or leave this here watch your head when you're walking through here um, I don't know what's going on in the trim here but it's like that and maybe a little cover or flap on this heat register again full paint Basically all throughout until the basement here. Sorry, I must have missed the... Not a lot here, it's all concrete floors. Um, washer, dryer, little bathroom inside here. Shower's in rough shape. Not sure if this works. Okay, it works, but it's just really kind of filthy. I don't know, this seems like this is kind of to rust. I don't know if you can see this very well, but this is pretty rusted out. Again, it's going to be more of like a wash off type. Owner wants to leave these um, shelves in here, which are a nice amenity. It's actually steel shelf units. This is the door back here. If you can see it to be hung on here. Looks like there's some water damage on the bottom of the door, unfortunately, but 
poke the hole through there. This is just like a little wine cellar in here. It's pretty cobwebby, like most basements would be. Um, all right, and then um, this is an old oil heat heater. It needs to be refilled from the outside. I'm not sure the timing on that. We'll have to talk to Bruce. Again, we've got mechanical systems. This is an old well that is going to have to be taken care of as well, too. I know Bruce was also going to get that taken care of before we get things rolling. Um, I don't know, none of this is really that relevant after this point. And we have, what is this here? It looks like we got a hot water here, here. And this must be, I don't know if it's supplemental furnace, looks like. Um, well, that's about it, Corey. As far as the outside garage, there's nothing there. Really, it's just a three, or two, well, basically a three season porch connected to the garage. There is a tree that I have separate pictures for on the outside of the property that we'll have to take a look at. But I'm going to send you these two videos here and let's, um, let's talk about it if you have any questions. But I'm going to place the code box now and we should be all set. Otherwise, this is a brand new door that Juan hung and got those, um, got the keys for. But again, of course, we'll replace them once tenants come on in. But um, yeah, let's talk tomorrow. I'll send you the videos. Thanks, Corey.